Let's put this on 180. If you were rebuilding it from the ground up, you would just pay your employee. Or you would, we would want to set up a system where you just pay employees fairly and it's not left to the customer to like subsidize it. But that's not the way it's set up. So I think my, my take on tipping has evolved over time. I've always tipped. I've never been like a bad tipper. I've, I've never been like someone who prides themselves on being like an amazing tipper, but I've never been like a deliberately bad tipper. If you don't tip, and the reason you don't tip is because the system is stupid, then I think you're basically kidding yourself unless you are also actively working to change the system. If you're only not tipping and then using the excuse that the system is bad, but you're not doing anything to change it, then you're just benefiting from the system existing and everybody else subsidizing it. Hang on. You, you're not forced to tip. I'm not going to like necessarily judge you morally. I'll judge your action... I don't think it makes you a bad person necessarily if you don't tip. Hang on, I forgot what I was doing. I was, I need to take tomorrow off from my jewelry store. Tomorrow is Friday. Okay. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna, I have to open up my, my notepad. Burp, burp, burp. I need to buy some donuts. And I need to, I'm not gonna put a rush in, honestly. I need to buy some donuts. I probably need to buy some more cheap gifts. And then probably we work on our interior after that. You don't have any paper bags in here? Did I say gifts again? I meant jewelry. <laughs> so I can take advantage of a system that I'm working against. I, not tipping doesn't mean you're working against the system. It just means you're not spending money. If you were protesting or something like that, that's a, writing letters to your congressperson at least or something. Okay, today I'm taking time off from work. To go to the Costco. Tweeting about the issue, I would say that maybe doesn't count. <laughs> Especially if you're just arguing with other people who are like, if you if you don't tip, you're an asshole. If you do tip, you're an idiot. And just like not reaching any sort of middle ground whatsoever. Whoops. This thing handles like a, like a steakhouse, man. Whoops. There is no middle ground? Then don't, what was the point in arguing about it? That's why I didn't want to bring it up in the first place. People are very, very sensitive about tipping. People's identity is tied up in their tipping. It's an issue. I mean, we've 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 talked about it left, right, and center. We got it all. I think everyone's figured out at this point where they stand on tipping. Why don't you tip your sandwich artist then? Well, like, because they never had a tip option on the card reader. And then, like, the last time I went to Subway, they had a tip option on the card reader. I tipped 10% and I haven't been back to the store. Logically speaking, I mean, like, listen, it's... <laughs> Left click to enter, please. It's weird. Let me pause this so I don't get my words twisted up. If you tip someone to pour soup into a cup and hand it to you, or you tip someone to hand you a pre-made sandwich, or you, you tip someone when you pick up a pizza or something like that, then there's no logic to not tipping the subway worker, pardon me, who was your concierge from the start of the sandwich to the, the finish of the sandwich and did everything as you asked. But it's just not done is the other thing. It's just like Subway was not a, it wasn't a tipping place. It was a, it was a place you don't tip. And then now it's a place where you tip and there's no, there's no logic to not tipping there except that there's never been a tip option there before.
We need donuts. Call me Duncan the way I donuts. And we need... Cheap gifts. I would buy two more cheap gifts. That would keep us going for a little bit. And then we'll spend the rest of our capital on interior to make our store better. And then we'll work, we'll spool up expensive gifts. Would you tip it at McDonald's? No, but like, I mean, I think if you worked at McDonald's, I could understand being like, what the fuck? If anything, I wouldn't be tipping them for like what they did to the food. I would be tipping them for the incredible logistics inside of the restaurant. I bought the right thing, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> incredible logistics. Dude, a McDonald's is like a logistical marvel. They're making like 30 people's food all at exactly the same time. And you usually get exactly what you ordered, plus or minus like one dipping sauce. And also maybe if you order like a strawberry milkshake, they're going to give you a vanilla or something like that. That's logistically pretty incredible. Like they're playing Cook, Serve, Delicious in there every day. My family tips the, the mail carrier in the holidays. I think that's kind of, like, we used to do that, well, my parents used to do that when we lived in a small town. I think that's pretty standard. Donut shop. Anyway, I mean, the, the mail carriers, they're doing the Lord's work out there. Without the mail carriers, how would I know uh, how much frozen chicken breast cost at a grocery store that doesn't even operate in my neighborhood? I'm joking. I have a good, credible respect for the, the, for the mail. But that's like a Christmas bonus. That's not like a tip. You're not like, oh, thanks for getting me like my Pokemon cards today. Instead, it's like, thank you for your service throughout the year. Have a nice Christmas. I was so zonked. I thought this was a highlight video. I've been watching, waiting for something crazy to happen. <laughs> Top 10. Bro, do we have nobody clean in this place? Holy cow, it's a pigsty in here, man. Top 10 disturbing stream moments caught on video. Anybody find that video of... Disneyland disturbing moments where there's the, the hereditary music in the background, but it, it, it just looks like one of the puppets is zerking it. T edits, are you here? I love the, the NHL thumbnails. Top, top 10 craziest NHL moments and the thumbnail is like a monster truck on the ice next to two uh, NHL players. <laughs> I should just go get the hand truck. Like I think I would have known. I think I would have known if that happened. They're so good. Some aren't appropriate for posting. <laughs> There's football ones that have like a picture of a plane crash on them. <laughs> it's, it's not funny that the plane crashed, but YouTube's crazy these days, man. Meanwhile, I'm like, um, what should I call my video where there's like 30% Sporkle and half of it is just me playing Tradal and uh, Cine 2 Nerdle? I don't want to mislead people.
People just be like, oh, you remember that time a plane crashed into Lambeau Field? Beautiful. Park it. Any chance you would, like, I mean, I, I get that your job is the cash register, but, like, at the same point, can't you just do some restocking here? Like, hey, X2 Merco, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Not my job, boss. Fair enough. I mean, it's 60 donuts. That seems pretty heavy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We, we, we park in our free parking spot. Oh, no, we have to drive today because I have two things. I can't hold two things. How is he still paying double the labor for Snoopy's than needed? We're letting it... It's, it's a vestige. It's a reminder of, like, messing up. It's like how, like, if you made it through, like, Narcotics Anonymous, you might carry a coin that is, like, here's how long I've been sober. That donut shop for me is, um, like, it's my sobriety coin. It's to remind me not to ever open a donut shop. And instead, just sell expensive things. Okay, it's my day off. Pop this down here. Having two employees is just wasting money? Yes, that's correct. You're absolutely right. You're precisely correct. All, I, it, it, this sounds like I mean it from a place of toxicity, but it's not a place from to of, of toxicity. I mean this actually positively. I'm glad that my digital guy is getting backseated over mundane stuff the same way that like all streamers get backseated whenever they're like, you know, they've admitted to spending money on anything. Sure, if a streamer eats DoorDash every day, people in chat are like, isn't that expensive? That seems fair to me. But then sometimes you're like, I put dried cranberries on my salads they're like really dried cranberries wow okay listen it was in a big bag it was called salad topper light so it must be good for you it's dried cranberries it's sesame seeds it's pumpkin seeds i don't know what else is in there I think I spend like 500 bucks on Deliveroo every month. I'm going to die. What the heck is Deliveroo? Is this like Australian DoorDash? I knew what I had to do. I was going to fix my car. It's UK DoorDash. Okay. Uber Eats for Europe. Deliveroo. How about that? Car dealership. Wait, a uh, gas station. Ooh, a gas station? You're right. This is nothing like New York. We also have Just Eat. We had Just Eat in Canada, then it, it went out of business. Or it, it got out-competed by, or maybe it got bought by Skip the Dishes or something. $764. That's pretty cheap to get back to 100%. Foodora also, well, I don't think Foodora went out of business in uh, Canada. I think that there was something with Foodora where, like, the workers in Canada were unionizing, and Foodora said, fuck that, and just, like, shut down. I've repaired my car. While we're here, let's, let's go buy a storage shelf so that our business doesn't look so busted. What happened here? Hey, learn how to drive, idiot! One second, I gotta open Google Maps. That's where I wanna be. Squeep. I don't think I can afford carpet and wallpaper yet because my store is so big. Hey, what well, lady? It's a, it's a pandemic.
Also, again, you always have to evaluate versus the counterfactuals. Did we spend a lot of money on Costco in or at Cos at Costco in March? Yes. But there's a trade-off to everything. The money we spent at Costco was offset by the lack of uh, delivery we bought in March as well. I can't even remember. I, mean, I think we might have gotten. I mean, I don't. I don't count pizza in the same group as delivery. In this, it's delivery. Obviously, someone is bringing food to your house, but it's not the prices for pizza delivery is essentially the same as buying it at the damn store. You just pay maybe like three bucks to, to get them to bring it to your house. Some of them even just offer it as like a, as just an included service. It's the DoorDash where they get you, man. I'm not trying to say, like, it should be a different header in the dictionary. I'm just saying, like, if you're like, oh, I eat too much delivery because it's hurting my pocketbook. Pizza is like... You're still paying more for the food than it costs to buy the ingredients and make the food yourself. However... The delivery, you're paying a small convenience charge, whereas on DoorDash, you're paying like 20%. They just break it out into 17 different uh, charges. So you're like, I don't know if I actually realize. It was paid a $4 convenience fee, $8 DoorDash fee, $7 to tip the driver. All of a sudden, my the $20 of Chipotle I ordered is costing me 71 bucks. You buy 25 bucks worth of pizza, you know, it comes to your house. You're like, you tip 32 bucks all in. You need the dash pass. It pays for itself in like three orders. I want the company to go out of business and, and be a cautionary tale for businesses forever. I do use it from time to time, but I, I think the world would be a better place if the company didn't exist. Especially because they have the audacity to not be profitable. If the prices weren't so, like if the fees weren't so egregious, I wouldn't hate the company as much as I do. But the fees are, are so insane, combined with the fact that they don't, from a from a bookkeeping standpoint, they don't make money. The company should not exist. It is yeah. It's like, it's the same way I feel about Ticketmaster. Do I use Ticketmaster when I'm forced to? But like, imagine if Ticketmaster was like, oh, we're not making money. I would be like, what are you talking about? You get paid like fifty bucks per ticket just for existing. And you don't do anything. Okay, this was a good day. You're still facing the wrong way, huh? What about Airbnb? My ass is very hotel pilled now, for sure. There were a few like golden years of Airbnb where you're like, oh my God, I get like an entire apartment instead of just a tiny room. I got a kitchen, I've got like maybe two bathrooms. It's basically the same price as a hotel room. That it was a beautiful couple of years. Now I feel like it's more expensive than hotel rooms. And also it depends on the host you get. Some hosts are like, hey, just tidy up when you leave and then we'll, uh, we'll send in cleaners after you because we're making money hand over fist. And then some of them are like, hey, you didn't make the bed when you left? There's like a, a surcharge that goes on top as a result of that. And you're like, my ass will just be staying in the Marriott from now on, quite frankly. I don't, if, if I can keep me, my wife, and a toddler in a hotel room, they clean it for you, like then the world's our oyster. I got charged a hundred bucks for a single piece of trash being left out. Not a joke at all. Well, it is a joke, but you're not lying, I think. is <laughs> It's crazy. We also, like, Kate's grandma 
we we thought that she might come stay in Vancouver for a bit. We don't have the space in our house, quite frankly. Like like literally, we just don't have a bed for her, or a room to put the bed in. Um, so we were looking into like long term or short term rentals. Maybe she could come for like a month or two. Every single one in Vancouver was like four to six thousand dollars Canadian for a month, and we were like, "Fuck you, <laughs> you." There is no way. Let it let it stay vacant as far as I'm concerned. I'm not paying you six grand a month. It's it's extortionary. Bubbly? Okay, well bubbly we're still we're still going strong. As long as it's uh still uh, nine eighty nine to ten oh nine a case at Costco. I'd be stupid to to not be buying it. Okay, check. Let me let me take a look at Bizman stocks, brother. I gotta pull my money out of the stock market in this game. It's just like, it's, and I'm I'm not mad that we're down point oh oh two percent. I'm just upset that it doesn't do anything. Like it's the there's no volatility. This shit's like a GIC, man. Like, it's just, it doesn't move. I'd rather just have my, I'd rather have my own cash. Okay, we work tomorrow. Wake me up at 7. Didn't you choose super safe? I, ch I chose the total U.S. market. It's all equities. They should at least be, be moving a little bit. Here, give me this first. What, what time does the bank open? It's not paper hands. If anything, I'm like, I, I think I'm two diamond hands. Opens in three hours? Well, then you'll see me because of your mother uck and fee. Read the word on the ATM slip, said they all mother uckers and they ucking with my... Come on. Excuse me, taxi? What do you think is the worst candle scent? Interesting question. I don't have an answer for you, but I will say when we were at um, our in-laws place, there was a candle and my wife smelled it and said... This is like the most foul smelling candle I've ever seen in my or ever smelled in my entire life. And then I smelled it too. And I, I was like, this does indeed smell like like industrial cleaner went wrong or something. And then our our niece was like, Oh, my grandma picked that out. I don't know what the hell's wrong with Kate's mom. She went to the candle store and basically bought a candle that smells like poison. Or I don't know if maybe the candle was just cheap and it like rotted or something, but like it was it was like no smell and then the faint undertone of like oh, foul smell. What about the Gwyneth Paltrow vagina candle? I will say I, I, I don't want to tweet it because tweeting sucks. Um, but this one's just for you. I have like a hilarious moment every now and then when we have, we have this thing called a Yodo player, which is like a speaker that you can insert a, uh, a card into and it plays like an audio book for your kid. And we have one that's uh, it's an Eric Carl book. It's called Brown Bear, Brown Bear. What do you see? And it's, I see a, a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? And every day I get a punchline when I put it in there because it, it starts like this. It goes, Yo Yodo Player Presents. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? By Eric Carl, as read by Gwyneth Paltrow. It gets me every time because she's reading it like so like semi-seriously. Why the hell they pay Gwyneth Paltrow to read Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do, you, what do you see? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a black dog looking at me. Black dog, black dog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. I 
I just can't imagine anybody like looking at these cards and then being like, oh, we got to get that one as read by Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, did I listen to part of uh, Anna Karenina as read by Maggie Gyllenhaal? Yeah, but like, it was mostly because I recognized her name. <laughs> and all the other Anna Karenina audiobooks, I was like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Maybe it does work then. Um, but they didn't get any money out of me for that. They, they just got um, an audible credit, which isn't even real money. Copium, copium. Okay, we gotta we gotta look at how our business did today. We're starting. Oh wait, is the bank still open? What? The, oh, it's not open at eight, brother. There's no shot. What day? Um, let me let me take a look here. I, I sorry, Bizman. <laughs> Those House of Leaves audiobook as read by Megan Trainer. No, thank you. The walls are closing. They should make a House of Leaves movie. Directed by... <laughs> I wanted to say Brett Ratner. No, thanks. Um, that's my gift store. Yes, okay. Directed by Uva Bowl. House of, House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danieluski. As read by Bobcat Goldway. Uh, okay, Sleep Me. On Friday, we can pull our money out of the bank. We, we were making money hand over fucking fist, dude. Bank run on Friday. Yo, 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 dude, TikTok should do the bank run challenge. Yo, everybody, we're pulling all of our money out of TD Canada Trust on Friday. Pass it on, pass it on. If we all pull out our deposits, we could get our money and then the government will just bail the bank out anyway. No, not that one, that's my bank. I didn't want to tell you my bank. I don't want my bank to have a bank run on it. I had to choose a bank that I don't have any any products with. Uh, yeah, I'll travel here. That's a felony? It's not a felony, Poindexter, okay? It's a joke. Yo, <laughs> <It's laughs> oh, Snoopy! Sanest business venture. Average daily income, $1. They still love the pricing, which means I hate the pricing. Let's throw that up another five bucks. How we do today? We did great. Dude, we need we need to set up a Costco delivery. I can't believe it. Like what's today's Sunday? I think 2x cheap jewelry, 1x. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I think we're going to need this. Let's, let's start and set up a Costco delivery here. And I, I'd like you to start a contract at Family Jewels. Thank you. And then... Um, on, I'd like you to deliver on Tuesday, and I'm going to need, not cheap gifts, cheap jewelry. $5,000 a box? <laughs> I need two boxes, man. That's, I, I get that it's 12 grand, but I, I need, I, they're, gen, they're making money for me. This is fine. I, I accept this. Works for me. Delivery Tuesday? Yeah. All right. It's 12K. I can't liquidize my assets. I have to wait till Friday when I got time off. Can I call the bank and be like, sell my stocks? 
They're only open. To, they're open from ten to two. You reached us outside of our business hours. Please try again. Won't somebody think of the bankers? They're open from ten to two. Okay, you're right. I am managing my portfolio in the middle of the road. Oh, you can sell it on the economy. Oh, it's Sunday. Okay, fair enough. Well, kind of. I could just sell it here. Are you sure you withdraw the full balance? Are you sure you want to withdraw the full balance? Yes. 34 grand right in our pocket. Still doing great on paper bags. Your store was closed today? Wrong? That's not correct. It's open. It was open from 10 to 8, actually. 10 to 6, sorry. 24 hour clock screws me up a little bit. Thrifty's Gifties is pogging again. I need some food. No, I don't mind the 24 hour clock, but there are. I mean, like, I, 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock are the ones where I have to just think for a second. Not for too long. Like, let's not insult me. But, like, I have to at least think for a second. At, at 6 and 8. It's only 18 and 20. 23? Like, that's a gimme. 18? I'm like, wait a minute. Just subtract 12? That's what I do. But you have to think for a second. For, like, a, just, just a brief moment. Dude, we could probably, like, gussy up our interior today. You could also subtract two. Okay, it's 1100 o'clock. Subtract two. It's 9 a.m. Oh, what the hell? What do you mean I'm two hours late for work? Yeah, you really got it all figured out. You subtracted in 12 from 11? Yeah, it's negative 1 o'clock, which is 11. Because <laughs> 12 is 0. You guys never went to the Terrence Howard School of Mathematics, clearly. Hang on. Uh, interior designer. This is going to be very expensive, okay? A jewelry store. We want dark colors uh, on, the, on the floor especially because it makes the, it's going to make the gold accents pop. Oh, this is looking classy. That's 11 grand right there. And then... I mean, I'll be straight up with you. This is like... <sighs> yeah, it's pricey, but... Oh, man. It's looking kind of slick with it. Oh, the wallpaper is so cheap. I think this is one you guys are jealous of. This is a nice looking store. Uh, apply. Ooh, spend 20 grand on interior design. It's a nice looking place. Snoopy's industrial coffee machine soon runs out of cup of coffee. It doesn't make any money anyway, so like, who cares? Actually, wait, like, give me a sec. I need to go eat something real quick. If you could take me back to Thrifty's, I'll, I'll just eat at home. Complete 10 taxi rides? I'm getting achievements like crazy, man. <laughs>